हाँ स्टूडेंट्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पेज रिप्लेसमेंट ऑलगर्दम दैट इज द एल आर डू लीज रिसेंटली यूज ऑलगर्दम सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द फिफो फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट रिप्लेसमेंट ऑलगर्दम दैट इज अ पेज रिप्लेसमेंट ऑलगर्दम नाउ लेट एस सी द सेकेंड टेक्निक दैट इज द लीज रिसेंटली यूज पेज रिप्लेसमेंट ऑलगर्दम सो हियर आई एम टेकिंग द रिफरेंस स्ट्रिंग एज दिस सो दिस इज अ रिफरेंस स्ट्रिंग मीन्स दिस इज अ पेजेस दैट द सी पी यूज डिमांडिंग दिस इज अ पेज डिमांडिंग so uh, let's see how this algorithm will work so at the starting the main memory that is the ram is having the free frames so everything is free uh, free so now i want to uh, the cpu is demanding for the reference page so the first is uh, the cpu is demanding that is the user this is the user reference uh, string so the user is demanding for this page 7 so but the 7 is not present in the main memory that is in the ram the 7 is not present so if the page that is uh, requesting is not present in the main memory in the ram then you call it as a page fault so whenever the page fault is occurred the cpu transfers the control that operating system uh, to the operating system or operating system fetch the free frame from the disk and place in the main memory so that is a concept so first the page that is uh, referenced by the user is the 7 so 7 is not placed in the main memory so we have to brought it, uh, brought it from the disk and placed in the main memory so then the page fault will occur so there is a page fault so because the requested page is not present in the main memory then you call it as a page fault so next i have to place zero so already the two frames are free so just place zero so this is also page fault because zero is not present in the ram next i had to place 1 7 0 1 so this is also page fault because one is not present in the ram so now i had to place a uh, 2 means the cpu is demanding the user is demanding for the, for the page 2 but 2 is not present in the ram so it has to bring from the disk and we have to bring that page from the disk and place in the main memory but the main memory frames are already full so then we have to replace the page that is a page replacement technique so i have to use the least recently used page replacement technique so what is this least recently used least recently used means so i have to place two on the frame so which page i have to be replaced now i have to check which is the least recently used one is the most recently used so this is the most and the last one becomes the least so one is most recently so i don't want one next is zero next seven so seven is the least recently used so in place of seven i have to so just remove the seven so in place of seven i have to write 2 0 one so this is also page fault because two is not present in the frame so i have to uh, i brought that page from the disk now i have to place zero so zero is already the demanded page by the cpu or the user is already present in the ram so just write as it is so this you call it as a hit hit means if already demanded page is present in the main memory in the ram so then you call it as a hit if the page is not present that you call it as a page fault if already it is present then it is hit now i have to place 3 so 3 is not uh, present in the ram so if it is not present in the ram means it is a page fault so i had to bring from the disk so i brought that page 3 from the disk that is a reference string 3 from the disk then where i had to place so follow the least recently used algorithm page replacement algorithm so what is the least recently used from this to 0 2 1 so you have to check here so which is the least recently used 0 0 is most recently next to 2 next to 1 so 1 is the least recently used so remove 1 okay so just remove 1 so in place of 1 you have to place Three, so this is same two zero three. So this is also page fault. Next, I had to place zero, but zero is already present here. So this is 
hit. Now I have to, uh, the CPU is demanding, the user is demanding for the page 4. So page 4 is not present here. So this is a page fault. So okay, I brought from the disk. So where I have to place. So which page I have to be replaced. So check the least recently used. So from this you have to check the least recently used from here. 0, 3, 0, 2. Okay, so this 2, 0, 3. So 0, 3, 0, 2. So which is, a, this is the most, 0 is most recently used. So next is 3 is most recently used. Next 2 is least recently used. So just replace 2 in place of 2. I am just writing 4, 0, 3. So this is a page fault. Now I have to write 2. So 2, check which is the least recently used 4 or 0 or 3 from this which is the least 4 is most recently used so least recently used is 3 so in place of 3 I have to write 2 0 4 so this is the page fault now I have to place 3 so now again check which is the least recently used from here Two, from 2 is the most recently next to 4 next to 0 so 0 is the least recently used so in place of uh, 0 I have to replace with 3 4 2 so this is also page fault now write for the 0 so which page I have to be replaced so check for least recently used so from 3 these 3 3 4 2 so here only three numbers so you have to check these three numbers only so three is most recently two is next four is least recently used so in place of four i have to write zero three two so this is also page four because zero is not present now i have to three demanding the page three three is already present in the ram so write as it is so this is hit next to one so one is not present in the frame main memory so i have to be replace the page because there is no space here so which page i have to be replaced check this which is the most recently used three is the most zero three and two so two is the least recently used so in place of two i have to replace with one three zero so this is also page fault. So next I have to uh, CPU is demanding for the page reference number 2. So 2 is not present here. Okay I have to bring from the disk. So then where I have to place in the main memory. So this is already full. So which page I have to be replaced. Now check for least recently used. So 1 is most recently. 3 is next and 0. 0 is the least recently used. So, just replace the 0 with 2, 3, 1. So, this is also page fault. Now, 0. Now, again check which is the least recently used. 2 is most recently. 1 is next. So, 3 is the least recently used. So, in place of 3, I have to replace with 0, 2, one. So, this is also page fault. So, this is how the least recently used algorithm, page replacement algorithm will be work. So, we have to replace the page which is le least recently used. So, that if uh, the before number that is you call it as a most recently and the last number that it is a least recently. So, here how many hits are there? Hits is 3. And the false page hit, page fault. The page faults are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12. So it, this complete, the page hits and page faults is completely based on the reference string. So whatever the reference string you are given, so based on that reference string only the hit ratio and the fault ratio will be calculated. So this hit and fault will be different for different reference strings. So this is completely based on reference string that the user is selecting. Thank you.